now, just because Ed can't get home on time like an ordinary husband doesn't mean you gotta starve me to death. All right, all right, all right. Feed the boys early so they can go out. Feed you now, cause you're starving to death. Feed Ed later, cause he ain't home yet. Lord, I feel like a glorified zookeeper. <laughs> I know I'm a dreamer, but I was hoping that my two grandsons would sit down at the table when Gam Gam came over for dinner. But oh no, they're out somewhere playing in the traffic. They are not playing in the traffic. <laughs> the boys are overdoing their homework with their friend Buford. Well, you obviously believe that, Eunice, so enough said. <laughs> Anybody, Eunice, you don't know who it's liable to be in this neighborhood. Hi. Hey, wait a minute. You, you can't be Eunice. Why can't I be? Well, how in the world did an old grizzly bear like Ed Higgins snag a cute little trick like you? Oh, <laughs> you know my husband, Ed? Oh, Lord, where are my manners? I'm sorry, I'm Dan Fogarty. Ed and I were in the army together. Oh. You, you are Eunice, aren't you? Well, yes, I, I am Eunice, but I, I'm afraid Ed isn't home yet. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Look, uh, I'll, I'll wait outside. I'll sit out here and powder my nose or something. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. Hmm? Come on in. That's all right. I'm expecting my husband any minute. Come on in. Just make yourself right at home, uh, Mr. Uh, Fogarty. Dan. Dan. Uh, Dan. Yeah. All right. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is my mother, Ms. Harper. Your mother? Well, this is my day. Two charming ladies in one fell swoop. Hi. Oh. <laughs> um, Dan, why don't you make yourself at home? Just sit right down there. That's Thank a comfortable you. chair. Lord, I, I'm so sorry the house is in such a mess. It's, it's not up to snuff for company. Oh, I think this is nice. The whole effect is nice. It's cozy, charming, and it's as clean as a... Whistle. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm uh, not interrupting anything, am I? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Not at all. We weren't doing a thing, were we, Mama? Nope, just eating. Oh. <laughs> hey, I am so sorry. Please go ahead, you two, and eat. I'll sit over here and read a matchbook or something. <laughs> wow, does that smell good? Well, Ed said you were a good cook. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> There's plenty more. Why don't you sit right down and join us, no, Dan? No, I, could, I couldn't do that. I went, well, if you're going to twist my arm, okay. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just get you a plate and a fork. Oh, that'd be nice. Eunice? You say your name's Fogarty? That's right, but I sure wish you'd call me Dan. Well, I'm not as free and easy as a, at the drop of a hat as my daughter here, so if you don't mind, I'll just call you Mr. Fogarty. Well, I always think of my father as Mr. Fogarty. At least that's what my mama told me. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, I, it must have been a couple of years ago, I guess. Uh, Ed and I run into each other in this, uh... <laughs> in this, uh, hotel bar. Uh, in Denver, uh, I think it was. And, uh, you know, we got that kidding around and laughing our darn heads off. And... Yes, Ed always does seem to have a good time when he's away from home. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, we weren't having all that good a time, you know. We, I mean, we were just sitting there sort of smiling. And, and Ed said to me, Danny says, what the heck is if you ever down Raytown Way? Why don't you just drop by and stay a while? So... Well, uh... Gee, Dan, uh, I can recommend a real nice little motel. It's right on the outskirts of town. Uh, some of our relatives stayed there last year when my aunt, aunt died. And uh, they said it was real clean and real cheap. And they got free soap, and the glasses are wrapped. And, and in the bathroom, they got them little paper ribbons around the seat. Mama. Of the <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 that, that, that's great to know. I'd have, I mean, I, I wouldn't dream of imposing on you and Ed in your own house. <laughs> even though I'm a quiet kind of a guy, you know, I'm comfortable on a sofa or, or even a mat on the floor, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, any old who I... I got kind of a bit of the gypsy in my soul, so I, the other day I said to myself, what the heck, Dan, why don't you go on down to Raytown? You know, maybe you could help Ed out with his chain of hardware stores or something. His chain? Ed's got one dinky little store you can't hardly turn around in it without knocking something over. 
<laughs> Sneaky son, son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Ed could use a little free help down at the store, Dan, because all he's got down there is this nitwit assistant by the name of Mickey Hart, and all he does is just mess things up, and he goes around getting paid for it. Mm. Eunice, I don't imagine Mr. Fogarty here was planning on helping out for free. I'll get it. That might be Ed. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Ed, dear. You realize what time it is? <laughs> no, what? Just a minute, Ed. Let me say something. Please. There, there's somebody here to see you. I... Don't tell him who it is. Oh, right. Well, never you mind. That's, that's a surprise. Uh-huh. And you got another surprise when you get home, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> Your dinner. Know what you're gonna have? Spaghetti. Ice cold spaghetti. <laughs> if you think I'm gonna heat that sucker up again for you, you got <laughs> What's all that racket I hear in it? Where are you? Are you in a bar? The airport? Ed, what, what you, what is the matter with you? If this is a joke, this is in very poor taste. You're drunk. You are drunk. Well, if you ain't drunk, mister, you had better be. <laughs> Tell that dick of poop I'm sitting here waiting for a ride home. Would you, would you just shut up, Ed? You must be completely out of your mind. Will you get back here this, mister, this minute, mister, you'll regret the day you were born. What? Well, who do you think you are talking to? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Eunice, what is it? Very, very tasty. Good. Hey, you know, you never did tell us where you're from. Well, originally from Cedar Rapids. Oh, but Cedar I... Rapids. Oh, mm -hmm. Eunice, will you try to look sensible? You're looking that goofy way you looked that time you fell off the swing at Kitty Land. <laughs> and just what was that conversation about? Oh, it was a Lulu, Mama. <laughs> well, what did Ed say? Oh, nothing much. He just mentioned something about uh, getting on an airplane and flying away with the woman he loves and uh, leaving me forever. Isn't that funny? <laughs> well, that's just plain impossible. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I can't remember the name of uh, the movie where uh, this exact same situation happened to Irene Dunn and, uh, and she just had to laugh it off, and that's exactly what I am going to do, <laughs> to laugh it off. <laughs> Listen, you know what? You know what? I'll bet old Ed was kidding. You know what a great kidder he is. After all, he slept on bunk over me all those years. I remember one night... <laughs> oh, well, you shut up, you. <laughs> now, Eunice, I want you to think real hard, darling. Now, were those Ed's words exactly because you know you don't ever get anything straight? Those were his exact words, Mama! Can't you ever give me credit for remembering anything? Lord, even when I was a little girl, Dan, she, she used to make me write it down on a piece of paper if she sent me for just one thing at the grocery store, just one thing. Well, damn it, Eunice, one time you went for Aunt Jane's whole wheat bread and you came home with Aunt Jemima's buckwheat flour. Damn buckwheat flour for the rest of my life! <laughs> You know, there was a couple of pictures where Irene Dunn had to laugh things off. Eunice, what were Ed's words exactly? 
Here is the whole conversation, Mama. And I'm only going to give it to you once, so you better get it. <laughs> I picked up that phone and I said, Hello, Ed. We have been waiting patiently for you. And he said, I am at the airport and I just called to say so long, too. And I said, you are drunk. And he said, drunk with happiness, Eunice. And then you started shooting off your mouth about something. And then he said, I am flying off to Mexico with Shirlene because I feel I must grab love while I can. And I'll get me a lawyer as soon as I get where I'm going and I'll call you and don't worry, I will always support my boys. And I said, you must be completely out of your mind. And he said, I am thinking real clear for the first time in my life, too. And I said, just who do you think you are talking to? And he said, you can work at the hardware store, Eunice, with Mickey Hart. Even you can learn how to use a cash register. And I said, what? And he said, teach my boys to be tough little scrappers and think real good thoughts about their daddy. And I said, what? And he said, oh, and by the way, be sure and tell that mama of yours I'm going to be real happy never to look at her rotten, miserable face again. And I said, what? And then he said, so long, toots, and he hung up. Well, his last remark just proves he's never appreciated a single thing I've ever done for him. All I've ever tried to do was help that hopeless case, and what thanks do I get for it? Did it ever occur to you that my whole life, me being deserted by my husband, might be a little bit more important than an insult to you? I mean, do you believe this, Dan? My whole life is shattered, absolutely shattered, and there she sits, taking center stage. Boy, I always thought my mama couldn't see past the tip of her own nose. Oh, now, just a damn minute, you don't have to be waiting in here and comparing oh me to somebody. Now, just sit down, take it easy. Uh, Listen, in the army, when we got dizzy, we always put her head between her legs, just uh, hang. Do you mind if I help myself to a beer? Thank you. Now, you miss, the first thing we have to do here is to just stay calm. Now, are you sure you heard Ed correctly? Because you know you never get anything right. <laughs> well, it's not to say he really means it, Eunice. That doesn't mean he won't be coming back. You didn't hear his voice, Mama. You say he ran off with a woman? Well, what the hell else would he run off with? Well, I don't know. I wouldn't have been surprised if it had been that Mickey Hart. Hell, the two of them Bill and two and carry on worse than them cop teams on TV. <laughs> with a woman, Mama. Boy, she must be some prize package. Oh, I tell you, Ed must have a screw loose. Why would a man want to leave a lovely wife in a home like this? I bet you she's all doped up like everybody is today. Oh, Mama, what am I going to do? I don't want to go to work in that icky old greasy old hardware store. How am I going to raise my boys without a daddy? I don't, I, don't, I don't have any skills. I can't type. I can't run a switchboard. Oh, the only thing in this world I'm good for is housework. gonna work out all right. It always does. Oh, Mama, Mama, you think it will? Well, of course it will, darling. Now, Mama knows best, doesn't she? Yes, Mama, yes. Yes. Wasn't it Mama who told you not to marry Ed in the first place? <laughs> Wasn't it Mama who told you he was gonna bring you nothing but grief? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. Not one minute after I have been dumped into a life of poverty and starvation, and here you go with the I told you so. Boy, you sure like to kick a person when they're down, don't you, Mama? Thank you very much. A real pretty picture you painted me in front of this stranger here. All I'd like is for my judgment to be respected once in a while. That's all. You know something, Eunice? <laughs> I have been where you are right now, and today I can laugh about it. I don't have one bitter thought about my ex-wife, even though she was a vicious, backstabbing sneak. <laughs> you see, honey, mm. <laughs> one door's got to close before another door can open for you. Now, you're going to find parts of yourself that were buried. You're going to blossom. You're going to become the wonderful, free creature that you ought to be. 
Hey, just a minute here, bright eyes. I don't know what the hell flying saucer you came in out of. <laughs> don't come marching in here and telling her she's gonna blossom. She's been trying to blossom for years and she ain't done it yet. <laughs> Will you shut up? He's just trying to talk to me as one human being to another, which is something you never thought of doing. Dan Fogarty is a man of vision. If that's it, and if this has been some kind of joke, oh boy, <laughs> is he gonna get us? Woohoo! Mickey. <laughs> Mickey Hart. Oh, yeah. Oh, we lost him. We lost him. We lost him. Go, 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 go. Mickey, will you snap, too, and tell us what the hell's going on here? Now, where's this gone? Well, he went down to Mexico to get a divorce. And then he said he's going to start a whole new life all over again with that Miss Shirley. Who is this Shirley person? Well, she's at the waitress, the cocktail waitress down there at the Silver Slipper. Kind of a big, tall, soft, pale-looking lady. Got great big long eyelashes on her like that. Great big hair about that high on her like that. Yeah. Is she a dope addict? <laughs> Mickey, how long have you known about this little plot of Ed's? Just found out yesterday. He came to me, said he needs some money, so he sold me half the hardware store. Ed sold you half our hardware store. Yeah. Why didn't you call me? Oh, lay off the little simp, Eunice. He doesn't know any better. <laughs> hey, Eunice, listen, a attractive woman like you oughtn't to be left all alone, you know that? Now, don't you think with Ed gone, you feel just a little bit safer with me sacking out on that couch at night? No, she wouldn't. <laughs> I'm not talking to you, Mama. Now, pulling your claws. <laughs> Mickey, will you please drive this man somewhere? <laughs> Where? I don't care where. Some flop house on the other side of town. The further away, the better. See, you don't live here, do you? No. In that case, I'll see you soon, Eunice. I'll see you real soon. Now, you keep your chin up, you hear? Thank you. Thank you, Dad. What? I'm gonna go now! <laughs> keep your chin up, partner. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Well, I don't care, buddy. I, I could get by on a chair and a pill at your house tonight. <laughs> well, listen, maybe with that going, I could help with the hardware store. I'm, I'm awful good with money. Maybe I can help with the books. What am I going to do? Eunice, darling, I don't know what to say to make you feel better. I just want you to know you've always got me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, 